stories of the day now. Proposals have been made to transform the Kenyan military into a more powerful and independent force. The Kenya Defense Forces Amendment Bill is currently before the National Assembly. Should it pass, then the KDF will acquire sweeping powers and financial independence, as KTN's Aaron Cheng now reports. Kenya may see drastic changes in the military and governing structures that will see a more powerful and independent military if MPs adopt an amendment to the law that gives the military sweeping powers and financial independence as well as drastically limiting the role of Defense Cabinet Secretary. The Kenya Defense Forces Amendment Bill 2015, currently before the National Assembly, seeks to give the military enhanced financial autonomy by providing its independent vote away from the ministry appropriated by the National Assembly and which shall not be audited by the Auditor General. I think the CS should be able to exercise oversight over the military. In all democracies worldwide, the civilian oversight is always necessary to maintain balance in a democracy. And that balance has to be maintained, even when we are uh, growing our democracy. This is not the time to interfere with that imbalance. Critics to the bill say the proposed law is not just a horrendous piece, but an attempt to overthrow the constitution and democratic state as it provides room for siphoning of public funds and must be rejected on arrival. So if you shield any part of the government from oversight by parliament, you are giving a license to rob the country. And to that extent, that should not be acceptable to the Republic. Currently, the law provides that the funds to the Kenya Defense Forces shall be in a separate vote under the Defense Ministry. The bill seeks to remove the role of Parliament in assigning the Cabinet Secretary defense functions. It removes the requirement for the CS to report to the President and Parliament on compliance with the policies and directions. We will ensure that the KDF Amendment Bill uh, speaks to the uh, deficiency, deficiencies within the KDF, speaks to the deficiencies within the, the military system in this republic, uh, and also uh, speaks to the deficiencies uh, that would, would seek to um, undermine uh, the security of the people of the, of the republic. This essentially reduces the role of the cabinet secretary to periphery ceremonial at best and substantially increases the powers of the chief of defense forces even as it provides avenues if any, for scrapping the ministry because the defense forces will then be required to report directly to the president and parliament if MPs enact the bill. I wouldn't imagine that anyone would want to give KDF roles that are not specified in the constitution. In any case, if you attempted to make, we have seen it before, if you've attempted to make a law which contravenes the constitution, mm -hmm. It is faulty ab initio, so really I think the best thing is to wait for that, that bill to come to Parliament. But Parliament, Defence and Foreign Affairs Chairman Dungu Gidinji has slashed out at political leaders opposing the bill, saying they are commenting on imaginations since the bill is yet to be committed to the floor of the National Assembly. The standing orders prevent us from preempting debate and discussing the contents. Uh, we are yet even to formally receive it as a committee. And I am sure once we do, we will, uh, the members of the Committee uh, of Defense and Foreign Relations are astute uh, leaders in their own right, and they will uh, pay due attention to all considerations. However, other lawmakers say they will consider public sensitivity over the bill before passing or rejecting it. Aaron Ocheng, KTN News.